Hi, we're back, and I don't know what we're doing today yet. Let me check my available marker colors. We got an orange, we got a purple. Daisy likes purple. I'm thinking about uh, like a fisherman lady. How much does a crab fisherman make? Holy sh! Crab boat captains can earn more than 200,000 per year, and crewmen may make as much as 50,000. During a three month working period? Hey guys, so I'm actually going to end um, this whole channel and I'm gonna become a crab fisher. This video is dedicated to any crab fishermen watching my video. Oh, maybe I should just go away for a summer and crab fish and then pay off my student loans. I just have to risk my life. This always happens. Maybe I should zoom out a little bit, because this is going to be a bigger drawing. Fish don't have teeth. I kind of find it funny. How do they eat? I know they just kind of, oh, their food, but it must be kind of tough being stranded at sea. Because if you think about it, the ocean is fucking huge. And if you're stranded, you're kind of in the middle of it all. And I feel like a lot of fish aren't just going to be hanging out in the middle of the ocean. Have you guys seen that huge, huge portion of the ocean that is literally just trash? There is a good chunk of the ocean. I don't know how big it is. I feel like they might have said Texas, but it's literally just, it's just trash. It is hot in this office, brother. I am sweating up a storm. Can you believe people just used to build boats by hand? I'm just thinking about that. People used to just fucking build this shit out of wood. And they used to be massive. Ooh, but that boat backside's looking good. I was gonna give it a big sail. I can't really say I've studied uh, maritime vehicles. Oh, fucked up the anchor. Very cool, Ryan. I'm gonna put a little crab on the door. Let's zoom in, let's zoom in. We're getting some details now. I'm gonna put a little crab on the door here. It's a little homage. Homage to all those crab fishers out there. You've heard of spider crabs. They're the really long-legged guys. I remember when I first learned about them, I wanted to fight them um, because I found out they can grow up to 14 feet. But I was a little disappointed because I imagined this big-ass fucking monster crab. And to be fair, it is huge, but it's not big in the way I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be like a 14-foot land crab that is um, essentially an Elden Ring boss. I wanted that, and I wanted to go at that thing with a machete. I was, I was like 15. Imagine how cool it would be to actually just like fight giant cool monsters like that. Like a giant crab. Think about seagulls for a minute, right? There are like different kinds of seagulls, and there's a fucking seagull that really puts the eagle in seagull. And, oh God, I just make myself look fucking stupid in these videos. I go, I go down to the beach, I go over to the beach. You know, you got your regular seagulls and then there are these jacked seagulls that honest to God kind of resemble like bald eagles a little more than they do seagulls. Definitely, if there were like 20 of them in a flock, I'd be dead. Let's, let's shade this. They're called bandages. I mean, they are bandages, but we call we usually call them band-aids because that's like the prime. Uh, it's like the prime seller of bandages. It's band-aid. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna post the finished result. So sorry. Um, this camera's battery life is awful. Um, all right. Bye bye.